I get more questions about olive oil than pretty much anything else because there are people out there trying to trick you with really confusing marketing. So I'm going to tell you what you need to know and what you need to forget about. So let's start with the bad news first. There's a lot of mislabeling, especially for American consumers, because they figure we don't know the difference. First off, robust. Oh, it sounds good. It's going to have a lot of flavor. Well, a lot of times we found it has zero flavor or it has bad flavor. So if it's labeled robust, not a good sign. Even worse are oils labeled light. It's totally a scam. They're getting you to think that it has fewer calories, it has the exact same number of calories as regular olive oil, or frankly, for that matter, as vegetable oil. What it's light on is flavor, and it costs you a lot of money. So skip that. Enough of the bad news. Let's have a little good news. So these two oils are doing something right. They're in dark green bottles. Olive oil hates sunlight. It hates UV lights from the supermarket. It does not like any light whatsoever. And even if it's unopened, it will go rancid in that bottle if it's exposed to light. Why manufacturers are using clear plastic bottles? I don't know. Yeah, it looks good. You get to see what the oil is, but you want to be in a dark bottle, black or green. These two oils are also doing something good. Come on, we're going to get down low. Now you're going to see what I'm looking for. Harvest date. Now the harvest date is probably the most important thing here. Ignore sell by, use by dates. Harvest date should be from the most recent harvest. So if it's oil from the Northern Hemisphere, California or Europe, it's in the fall. If it's from the Southern Hemisphere, South America, it should be in the spring. So you want to get the most recent harvest. And so if you're shopping in the fall, you're probably not going to see the current fall. It's going to be the previous fall. The point here is that after 12 months, the oil is beginning to age out. And in 18 months, it's an old person. And you don't want old oil because it's going to be rancid oil. So another thing you're going to notice on the label, and I'm going to turn this bottle around, is supermarket oils, relatively inexpensive extra virgin olive oils, are typically blended from oils from multiple locations. It just makes it cheaper. You want a really expensive boutique oil that's from a single vineyard, save it for drizzling and finishing. But these are everyday oils that I cook with. Now, if you're thinking, oh, don't you cook with that regular olive oil from a can? Sorry, it's terrible. It really has no flavor whatsoever. I cook with supermarket extra virgin olive oil. It's really got a lot more flavor and it's really worth the extra pennies. So there's what you need to know. Olive oil, it's not that complicated. You just need to be a smart shopper. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.